Hello, this is Tanya Cunningham in Madison, Wisconsin with a series of video tutorials on using GIMP for image to track. Today I'm doing a brief tutorial on how uh, one way that you might create a text image to knit onto uh, an article. And um, the main thing about um, a text image is that you want the image to be exactly the same size as what you're going to knit because otherwise when you put it through image to track it will be altered and uh, won't look the way that you want it to look so just as an example um, let's make a, a larger image let's say it's uh, 700 wide and we'll open our text tool and we'll make the text, um, oh, say, 60 stitches or 60 pixels tall. Uh, remember, you want your image to be in pixels because pixels equal stitches. And also, I'm going to use black as my color for the text. So I'll go over here and um, start typing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I think I would then probably crop that. So I need to choose my selection tool. And I'll just crop it right at its edges. And then I'll export that to my desktop text and then I'll select it with image to track. Now because that that pattern is much larger than what I'm going to knit you'll see that it's going to turn out considerably different. Another thing to keep in mind is that um, your stretch, if you have a stretch factor uh, that will also affect the way that your text appears and so you may want to do your original image um, stretched to the size that you want it so that you can use a, a vertical stretch of 1.0 which will not alter it when you open it with uh, image to track so we'll select that text and this is the way it turns out that's at well actually that's at 200 stitches wide, which we probably wouldn't be knitting it even that wide. So what if we said um, maybe um, 80 stitches wide? If you were, say, doing it for a sweater, you wouldn't want to necessarily go across the entire front. <clears throat> and we'll select that same file, and this is the way it turns out. So, you know, you could use that. Um, it's, it's, uh, this is the, the small version of it and you know it, it's discernible but it's it's definitely not optimal um, so what I would want to do is to start with uh, a GIMP file that's the width of the text that I want to write so I want to write 80 stitches wide and it does definitely doesn't need to be 400 stitches tall let's say um, 200 stitches tall at the most and we'll crop it. We'll zoom in on that a little bit and then go back to my text tool and oh well so it's too tall I actually want the text to be say 20 stitches tall all told. So we'll start that over. Okay, um, and one thing you can see is that we have different colored pixels here and we really need this to be only in two colors. So I'm going to change it, I'm going to index it to uh, one bit, which is two colors, 
And from here, if I wanted to, I could then use my pencil, which I would change from 20 pixels to one pixel. Um, and I could uh, either add pixels if I felt it needed it, or if I switch my colors from white to black, I could take pixels away if I felt it needed it. And once I got it just the way I wanted, uh, I would then export that file to my desktop. I'll call that text2. And, um, oh, actually, I'm going to crop it first. Because I don't want that big, tall image. So I'll just crop it along its edges, more or less. And I'm going to verify the size of this image is, the width is 63. So as long as my um, selection in Image Attract max width is more than 63, it should come out just the way it looks. So I will export this one as text2 to replace the previous one. And now I'll go to Image to Track and select that. Remember, I wanted it to be at least 63 stitches wide. Uh, that's 80, so that's perfectly adequate. Uh, colors set at 2. And I'm going to select the number 2. And then you can see this turns out uh, to look just like the way it looked in Image, or rather in GIMP. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of different ways you can do text. Uh, a lot of different fonts and so forth, but the main thing is to create an image that's exactly the size that you want to knit. Um, okay, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching GIMP for Image to Track. You can visit me at itmakesyousmile.com and for more information on Image to Track and your free demo, please visit daviworks.com slash knitting. Bye.